Uh, let's go to a couple things here outside of college basketball. You put that to bed. All right, let's do the baseball. Uh, and uh, let's uh, reiterate this all-star game scenario. And let's uh, give you some information uh, as, as I see it. And let's respond to a few things that, you know, he's getting killed. The base commissioner is getting destroyed by Twitter, Fox, and everybody else about the movement, movement of the Uh, of the All-Star Game. Again, let me say this one more time loudly because the guys, the Tucker Carlson's of the world, can't seem to figure this out. Now, there are issues with Manfred, and we'll get to that in a minute, but the big issue of moving the game, they moved, he did not move, he moved the game, not necessarily, and everybody, this is where the point they're missing. These people don't know where their ass is on their elbow. He moved the game because he cannot be put in a situation where there is a boycott of his players to the All-Star Game on July 13th in Atlanta. That is why he moved the game, all right? He did not move the game because he was making a stand or the sport necessarily was making a stand. He moved the game because the last thing he wants the year after or, you know, a pandemic and everything else, that he's got Mookie, as I've said a thousand times, Mookie Betts and Drew Stanton and, and Judge and everybody else in the sport decides not to show up in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, because there's uh, the voting restriction scenario going on. That is why he moved the game. He didn't. That's the only reason. He is protecting the game. Now he doesn't want to say that because you know he wants to take the bullet here. He doesn't want his players to take the bullet. He has to take the bullet. So he's not going to say, guys, I don't care about the, the the law necessarily. We're going to play in Atlanta, but I can't take a chance that Mookie Betts bails out. He can't say that. So he is not going to say that. So he's going to say, we will move the game because we disagree with voting restrictions. But the reason he's moving the game and he's not going to tell you is because he knows there's going to be a boycott if the game is played there. And that's the last thing they can have. That, and for whatever the reason, the people who are screaming about this all over the place on Twitter and TV and everything else, and he's getting killed. Mario Rubio's of the world, they don't know their ass from their elbow. That is why the game is being moved. Simple as that. Okay? Bottom line. Now. The game is being moved to Colorado. Now, you can make an argument that this is a terrible mistake. You know, Colorado, I mean, geez, I mean, Colorado now, you're going to move a ball game to Colorado where, you know, they have voting restrictions too in Colorado. I mean, there's plenty of voting restrictions in Colorado. So it's not like he's moving into a place where it's, you know, way left and we can have everybody vote and everything else. He's moving into Colorado because Colorado, Denver, was a finalist for an all-star game and we're in the running to get another game down the road. And so as a result, by putting it in Colorado on short notice, it enables him to get the game run properly because Colorado's sort of ahead of the game compared to Milwaukee or anywhere else. He's trying to put, as a, a, put the game in a spot where it, the city itself is a little ahead of the game as far as preparing for having a huge event in their town in the middle of the summertime. And since Colorado was deep into conversations with baseball about having whether this game in Atlanta or a future All-Star game, that is the reason why I put in Colorado. Now, you can argue that, that that is a stupid idea because Colorado's got voting restrictions too, so that should not be part of the equation. Who's ahead of the game? He should have put it in a state where there's no voting restrictions, wherever, where, if you can find a state, yeah, that, is, that has no voting restrictions. That You know what? I don't care if the game is in, you know, on the moon. Put it in Hawaii. If Hawaii doesn't have any voting restrictions, put your game in Hawaii. He didn't do that. He based the game appearance on what city in three months can handle taking an all-star game. Now, you could argue that that's a mistake, that he should have sat there and decided that the voting restrictions was the most important scenario here. And if you have a voting restriction in your state, you're not getting our All-Star game. But he did not do that. He based the game on a spot where, in fact, he knows the city can handle the game on short notice. All right, that's number one. All right, that's number two. Now, the two things that everybody is killing Rob about, and I understand it, and it's very fair. It's fair. Now, uh, you know, Rubio wrote a long letter to him, the senator in Florida, who ran, by the way, a horrendous presidential campaign. Rubio, but he's, he's in a, you know, he's voted on, so he's a votee. Manfred isn't. He basically said, hold on now, Rob, you're going to move the All-Star game out of Atlanta, and you're going to cost us all this money and do all these things and, you know, and, and cater to the left, yet you're a member of Augusta. Now, if you want to go with the argument that Manfred is moving the game because Manfred hates the voting restrictions and baseball is making, quote-unquote, a Jackie Robinson statement? If that is your argument, and that's what baseball told us in its statement, 
Well, then you're right. That's hypocritical because, you know, listen, if you're going to sit there and tell me that, you know, you're, you're very wrapped up in making sure, you know, all walks of life are treated incredibly equally, which we should be. Well, then, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't be at the master's. Because, you know, until about 10 years ago, you couldn't find an African-American 100 miles in front of the place. You got to be fair. You got to be fair. You have to be fair. So I can understand that point by Rubio. How about now? Let me, let me get this straight. You're moving the game out of Atlanta because of what the left wants you to do, yet you're a member of Augusta. That's fair. There's, you cannot argue with that principle. That is, now, I don't like Rubio making it. But you cannot argue, you know, it's almost as bad as Ted Cruz doing it. The guy who fleed Texas during a night storm and went down to Cancun to fraud. So, I mean, I don't like, you know, but it wasn't Cruz. It was Rubio. But I understand, I understand that that is a very, very fair point. Because if you're going to sit there and hide behind, you know, uh, Abraham Lincoln, well, then you shouldn't be a member of, Wink, uh, we shouldn't be a member of uh, Augusta. And I know Augusta's gone a long way, and they've tried to make it fair and everything else, but it took Augusta a hell of a long time to allow a woman to be a member. And that's their right. They're a private club. But it took them a long time. If we're going to make be politically correct about everything, it took them a hell of a long time to have a women member or any black players playing there and all those kinds of things. So they've, they've made up for it a little bit, but they've still been about 100 years behind the times. So uh, that's, a, that's very fair. And the other thing that is very fair that bothers me, and I have to be fair about it, if I screamed and yelled about Silva and about the NBA forever, I got to be fair here too. I am not happy that baseball, and I did it because of money, made a deal here in the last whatever it might be with the Chinese, with some Chinese businesses to stream baseball games to China. Now, that China it should be off limits for any American sport. All right? That, forget the virus. Off limits. They persecute human right violations you wouldn't believe. Hong Kong, we go on forever and ever and ever. And we could talk about, you know, poor people, ethnic groups stuck in prison camps. You know, as bad as Siberia with Stalin. All right? That bad. That bad. And if you're going to be high and mighty here in America, well, then you know what? Don't be dealing with, don't, I, I, even though money is at stake, don't be dealing here with China. Now, we screamed about the NBA doing this. Popovich, Kerr, yelling and screaming about Trump and everything going on in America and LeBron and James Harden and Silva apologizing to the Chinese government for Moray's comments. And I went on and on here for months getting on the NBA, rightfully so. Unbelievably hypocritical. But I got to be fair. I got to be fair. Last Wednesday, baseball made a deal with, the, you know, with Chinese businesses, a big company, I forget the name of it, you know, to streamline baseball games in China. And, you know, China is not exactly, uh, you know, a democracy, right? It's not a, exactly a democracy. China is a, you know, they're rough. You don't like, you don't do what China tells you to do. They stick you in a prison camp and you die and you rot. And you rot. And you rot. And baseball made a deal with them just like the NBA has, just like all the sports have. And, you know, if you're going to make a deal with China, at least do what Stern did. Guys, I, uh, I'll be the first to admit, I don't like the human rights violations, but you know what? I want the money. I'll get my hands dirty. I'll hold my nose when I make a deal with them. That's what Stern said. At least Stern had the guts to say it. He told you, you know, this, uh, this stinks, but we want the money, so we're making a deal. That's what Stern used to say. The NBA doesn't say that, and now baseball. So I think those points you can make very fair with, with the sport. Very fair. You know, baseball making it sound like that they're, you know, holier than thou with Atlanta, although that's not really the reason, as I told you. They're making it sound like that, yet, you know, uh, they got memberships at Augusta. You know, I, I, there, there's some hypocrisy with that. Got to be fair. Have to be fair. Got to look at this right down the middle and, and observe and make comments. And the China thing bothers the hell out of me. I've said this about the NBA, so if I'm going to kill the NBA all these years, all these months, not years. All these months, I have to be fair about baseball. Too. Gotta be fair. We're not trying to play any sides. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Now, last thing I'll say about this too. You think Tony Clark would have the would have the courtesy to at least stand up for his uh, for the commissioner? I know that they have this huge fight forthcoming in December, but Manford is taking a bullet essentially for the players and Clark who told everybody a long time ago, well, you know what? We need to have a discussion on Georgia. Tony Clark hiding behind words in the New York Times. 
And, you know, so Manfred takes the bullet. Now, he gets paid a fortune, so that's the way it goes. But he gets t- he takes the bullet. He gets hammered all over America. You think Clark in the last 72 hours would put out a statement and said, you know what, we are in complete agreement with the commissioner's office. Good for him. We agree as an association that the game should not be played in Atlanta, and we are 100% behind his efforts to move it out of there. Now, unless I was blind, I did not see that statement from the Player Association president. If he had any guts whatsoever, he would have said that. He did not. Not that I saw. I've been wrapped up in the college basketball, but I don't think, unless, I, unless somehow I missed it, uh, which I very rarely do, I did not see that. And Manford is taking a bullet for him because he's leaving Atlanta because he knows the Stantons and the judges and the Betts are not going to play in the game if it's there based on whatever the case might be. Their own personal uh, opinion, pressure from groups. Who knows? Who knows? And, you know, one other thing. Now, again, I haven't studied this this carefully. So it's not like I am, I, I, I know, a little bit. I'm a little more on top of it than normal. But I'll say this. You know, everybody killing, you know, uh, uh, killing the state of Georgia. Last time I looked, the state that I was born and raised in has got the same restrictions that Georgia does. Same. And the president, who's got a lot to say, called it Jim Crow. Jim Crow. Mr. Biden. Falling up, falling up the stairs, going to the Air Force One. The president in his state has the same sort of thing, too. Same sort of thing. Same restrictions, if you want to call them that. Got to be fair. Got it right down the middle. The China thing bothered the hell out of me. You should not make any business. I don't, you can't be that desperate for money. You can't make any deals with China right now and then tell me that you're so wrapped up on human rights in America. That doesn't, uh, when people rot rot in jails. That you can't do. That's not fair. That's being incredibly hypocritical. What, their lives don't count? We, we believe in civil rights in our country. We don't give, we don't give a crap anywhere else. That's, that, that's what that's telling me? Fifteen after the hour, we take a timeout, we continue. We're a mad dog of nation. 